reconciliation. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. 2 Corinthians 5 verses 18 and 20. The key term in this passage is reconciliation. The dictionary states that to reconcile means to re-establish a close relationship between, to settle or resolve. The key to reconciliation is effectively dealing with the enmity, ill will, hatred, or hostility that has caused the dispute. There are several approaches to reconciliation that may be applied. For instance, if we've offended someone by an unkind word that we've spoken, we can apologize. If we owe money to someone, we can pay the debt. If we've done something to someone, we can make the necessary restitution. However, in every case, reconciliation lies in dealing effectively with the root cause of the enmity. The enmity between man and God was sin. God took the initiative to remove this barrier through the means and agency of Jesus Christ, thus leaving man and God as friends once again. In justification there is the picture of the criminal before his judge, with the judge pronouncing a sentence of acquittal, so in reconciliation there is the picture of the once estranged child before his father, with the alienation now replaced by peace. God, due to his constant love, takes the initiative, breaks into man's hostility, and throws down every barrier to an enduring and marvelous relationship. God takes the initiative, man merely responds. God is the subject of reconciliation, man is the object of reconciliation. God does the reconciling, and man is the one who is reconciled, it is the latter whose attitude is basically changed. But God has done it all. When we were his enemies, through Christ he made us his friends and gave us the work of making friends of enemies. As one representing Christ, Paul was entreating others to be reconciled to God. This offer is to those who are alienated, Colossians 1 verse 21, enemies, Romans 5 verse 10, sinners, Romans 5 verse 8, and those without strength to help themselves, Romans 5 verse 6. It is secured by God in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19, through the death of Jesus. Ephesians 2 verse 16 and Colossians 1 verses 21 to 22, and by his blood. Ephesians 2 verse 13 and Colossians 1 verse 20. When received by faith, the effects are the peace of God, Romans 5 verse 1 and Ephesians 2 verses 16 to 17, and open access to God, Romans 5 verse 2 and Ephesians 2 verse 18.